Hi guys, welcome to the first episode of ETO Travel Vlog where we're gonna be showing you the most iconic places in Addis. Currently, we're at Meganaya and uh, today we're going to Mercato. It's one of the biggest shopping centers in Ethiopia, but specifically, we're going to a place called Menalishtara. I'm actually going there for the first time as well, so we're both gonna be seeing it. I'm just gonna get my shoes clean and then we're gonna go straight ahead. got finished cleaning my shoes. Uh, there's so many ways to get to Mercato, but today we're using uh, an Uber type of transportation, it's, but it's also fine to use the bus or even like a mini bus, we call it taxi, but we can use that too. So we're on our way to our final destination. Uh, I just took my bride and we're just gonna be doing a little sightseeing so you guys can look at what the street looks like in Addis. Actually in the morning right now at 8, it's 8 one right now. And uh, yeah, this is what it looks like in the morning. This is one of the biggest public libraries in Addis. They just finished uh, everything inside within this month. It's one of the biggest libraries. It has everything you could ever imagine and it's beautiful inside. arrived at Piazza. It's one of the oldest towns in Addis. I think we're gonna be definitely doing a vlog here as well. It's one of the most beautiful places ever. Most of the buildings are old as you can see. It's been so many years since they were built and it's one of the most iconic places in Addis so it's definitely a must-see. arrived at Mercato. This is part of uh, what we're going to be seeing. We're specifically, like I said, we're going to Menalechtara, but this is also part of Mercato, the one I told you about earlier, one of the most biggest shopping centers in Ethiopia. You can definitely catch a vibe here. It really shows you the dynamic of uh, how people in Ethiopia live. So it's such a beautiful place to just see and just catch a vibe. This is the center where you buy your fruits and vegetables. There's a, basically, I think it comes from the urban side and it's gonna be stationed here and then out of. So like I mentioned earlier, we're vlogging this on a Sunday. So most of the shops are closed. Uh, on a weekdays, all of the shop is open and there's so many people and it's crowded but today it's Sunday so no one is really working. Uh, so this is what it looks like. I have to walk a little bit but it's going to be crowded so I'm just going to get out of my right.
guys, we are at our destination. It's called the Manal Sara. What you guys are seeing on the right on and on the left is reusable things. People usually throw all this stuff away, but once it comes here, they're gonna fix it and make it look like as if it's almost new. So all of these things are just people just disposing it as trash and then it finally comes here and then you can use use it again. People usually come here to buy things because you know it's more cheaper here and you can find anything here from the smallest item you can ever imagine to the biggest thing ever like car spare parts. So it's really nice to be here and I've heard so much about this place and I'm so happy that I'm finally here. It definitely has such a vibe, I would say. So, as you can see here, they have different covers and phones which people threw away, but now they're fixing it or they're selling it as a spare part, I think. So yeah, anything you throw away, it, if it comes here, it's going to be put into use again. Oh, that's a cute guitar. So yeah, you can definitely buy an old phone here. You can see here that they're negotiating for the price of the old phone, so yeah. Yeah, people buy phones from here. I mean, it's cheaper, so why not, right? And you can definitely sell stuff too, like if you think you have old stuff that you don't want to use anymore, you can just cheap sell it for cheap and then, you know, they'll buy it from you and then resell it. So yeah, you can also just sell stuff if you come here actually an accident but I just found something really interesting it's an old radio and it looks really good so I think I'm gonna buy this one so I'm just gonna ask how much it is since enough Thank you. Guys, I just bought this right now. I just found this old radio and it looks really good. Like if you really wash it, I think it's gonna be aesthetically good in the house. I bought it for 50 burr, you saw that right? That's basically, I think one dollar when you change it to dollar. So I think we're gonna find more stuff to buy that's gonna be really good for our house. So yeah, we're definitely gonna see. So as you can see, it's really crowded, but I think it's Sunday, so I think they go out on Sundays. This specific parts on Sundays is gonna be crowded, so there's a lot of people. Uh, yeah, I think the middle of Mercato it would be like less people now because it's Sunday, but this particular part there's just a lot of people on Sundays, so yeah. But it's not. Guys, like, look, this looks like it's brand new, but it's actually um, recycled. They People threw it away and then they just fix it and clean it up and now it looks good as new. So they actually sell really good stuff here for an actual really good price. There's a pizza maker over there. It looks like it's brand new. So they, it's probably been used, but they clean it up, they fix it, and it's good as new. So you can really find good, awesome stuff here for a really good price. So that's really cool. Oh, that one is cute too. They have some. Hey, that radio is cute, but I already bought a radio, so I'm not gonna do it again. But yeah, that looks really nice. Oh, 
There's so many nice radio stock. <laughs> I like this. Oh, I want to buy that. That one. The dolly. Finally, something I can definitely get on board with. We have a straightener, a comb, a foam, literally any beauty material for your hair. That's really awesome. I didn't know that I would see this here, but well, I'm happy I did. But I don't think I'll buy anything from here because I already have all this stuff. But so good to see this. Guys, these are really cool stuff we just saw. It's just old radios, old cameras, old phones, TVs. This is really cool, especially for like aesthetic part of it. And also maybe for like a photo shoot, just like to create some creative space. I think you can definitely buy stuff from here to decorate your home maybe. I don't know, like, it just looks so cool. Look guys, we just found something pretty cool. It's, I think it's an old weapon. I didn't know we find that here, but it looks so cool. But I'm afraid to touch it, so I'm not gonna like use it or anything, but it looks really good. Actually thinking about buying this it's not for me it's for my friend he liked it but it's too expensive it's like four thousand burr so I mean it's gonna be we're gonna be using it aesthetically anyway so I don't think we're gonna buy it but yeah I hope we find something more interesting I'm not gonna lie and say this is a DJ mix I have no idea what it does but I don't know what it is but it looks like um, Tablet and baseball. I don't think anyone plays baseball in Ethiopia, but yeah, that's interesting to see. Here. Or do they? Guys, I literally love this place. Like, I could just keep going all day. It's so interesting. We found so many things. Unfortunately, we didn't go out for shopping, so we're not buying a lot of things, but. I love it here. I can stay all day. They also sell electric wires. <laughs> it's used, so I'm not sure if it's okay to be using this, but unfortunately they sell it, so I guess it might be okay or not. <laughs> so guys they're actually selling laptops but I don't think it works so I don't know why they're selling it but I mean it's good to see it here I guess. I still what I said was I asked him if it works and he said it doesn't work 
And he also told me that the radio you're carrying doesn't work also, so he makes such a valid point. Anyways, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Spoons and forks. old cameras they actually look really good but I don't think they work also I would think the working part is not guaranteed maybe it's like for aesthetically we could just buy some of this stuff maybe to decorate our houses but in terms of functioning I don't think some of this stuff work but we just found some chandels right here I really love the big one it looks really gorgeous and actually I bet it's gonna be cheap so actually, you can find some. Oh. The most interesting stuff. I think I just saw a typewriter, and it looks really nice. Like good, it's new. I haven't seen some of this in like forever. I would definitely buy this. And printers, I think. So we're getting to the good stuff now. I think this guy has pretty interesting stuff. It seems like everyone seems to be here. I'm trying to get a glance so I can look at what's in there. He has so many things that I cannot see. Yeah. Oh, we just saw a bike right here. Uh, I think it's kids, a bike for kids. But it's definitely used, but I would say it probably works or is able to be ridden. So we just ran into a money counting machine. I don't know if it works, but it looks like it's fine to me. There's a big one, a medium, and a small one. So they also have this. That's pretty cool. Sarah? Sarah? So we just asked him if it works, and he said I didn't try it. So basically, that means no. I would take it as a no. So we just ran into this kid and he wanted to take a picture. He has the cutest smile right now. I think he's shy. Appa! He has the cutest smile ever. He wanted to take a picture. So yeah. Teenagers work in this area, probably supporting their parents. Maybe it's their parents selling this. So probably they're helping out. So it's nice to see, you know, teenagers helping out their parents on a Sunday. That's, that's nice. This is it guys, I'm sad to say that we're actually going into the end of the show. This is what it looks like, the whole street from way up to here is just reusable stuff, recycled stuff being sold again with the cheapest price you could ever imagine. I'm actually, I get, I'm happy I got to see it. There's so many interesting stuff so definitely this is the end of this episode but we're going to be seeing other stuff. So just to remind you guys, this is Mercato specifically, Minal Lishtara, and I hope you guys had fun. See you next time.